Bonnie Francis, and we're here with Will Totten, who is with University of Maryland Health Advantage. And we want to find out about his program. They will be out at the Senior Summit May 19th with the table. But I want to talk to you first about what you offer. What is Health Advantage? Absolutely. So to begin, my role is I am the manager of community outreach and development for the plan. Okay. So my primary job is to actually work in various communities, mostly on the Eastern Shore and actually up in Hartford and Cecil, but mostly on the shore to expand brand awareness and expand uh, the general understanding of how our insurance plans function and what they actually are. Okay. Um, in short, a Medicare Advantage plan is also called a Part C. And the best way to describe it is it is a privatized health insurance plan that is offered within a specific network that covers all the original benefits of original Medicare and then offers some ancillary additional benefits on top of that. Benefits such as dental, prescription drug, vision, um, maybe routine podiatry, depending on which plan you qualify for, there are different benefits that you can have access to. Okay. Now those that qualify for the plan would be individuals on either Medicare or Medicare and Medicaid. And depending on what their status may be, we have licensed brokers in the community that will be at the event that can actually help them, provide them with more information to see if it's actually a viable plan option for their health insurance needs. Okay. Yep. Now, how do they get in touch with you? That website is www.ummshealthplans.com. Okay. And through that website, they can link you to either the Medicaid plan or the Medicare Advantage plans. And on that website, it gives additional information as far as how, if I qualify, when I can enroll, different pieces that any individual may, may be curious about. So if someone already has a certain plan when they turn 65, mm -hmm. they're already, let's say they're at 70, they come out to the summit. Is there penalties or things when you change plans like that or how does that work? Well, so the way that it works is a, every single year there's something called the annual enrollment period. Right. Which begins October 15th and ends on December 7th. Right. During the annual enrollment period, any individual that has either original Medicare parts A and B mm -hmm. with a part D, with a part D prescription. standalone prescription drug right. benefit, or someone that has, let's say, original Medicare with a supplemental insurance plan, or even a Medicare Advantage plan, they can re review their options between those dates, October 15th to December 7th, and make any changes without penalties. Okay. So that's really the biggest time of year that we see a lot of individuals reviewing their options. Right. Now, the important thing to point out is that a Medicare Advantage plan may not just be for an individual that is 65 or older and retired. Um, a lot of our members that fall under what we call the dual plan, which would be the Med Medicare Medicaid plan, may in fact actually be on permanent disability. Oh, okay. So we have members that range from 18 and on that are on disability that still qualify for our plan depending on the programs. Okay. So the primary goal of a Medicare Advantage plan or a Part C plan is to take all the benefits of original Medicare, add on top of it, and build out a specific network of physicians. So the nice thing about being affiliated with University of Maryland Medical System is members in our plan have the full have full access to the full complement of doctors that University of Maryland Medical System offers, in addition to over not over nine thousand, and that's kind of continuously growing physicians throughout the state. Okay. So, it's not limited just specifically to one county. It allows you to go to other University of Maryland hospitals and other partner physician groups as well. Okay. The only thing, I mean, sometimes for the senior population, the problem there is transportation. And, and that's where they'd have to weigh what, you know, what would be viable for them. Are they, do they have access to it? Absolutely. You know? That is actually one of the benefits that one of our plans offers, depending on for those who qualify, is they can have up their specific 
reasons that they can have access to free transportation to and from either follow-up appointments or annual physicals, things like that. Okay. So that's something that an individual, when they're reviewing their options, would look at, um, would look at kind of their specific situation Needs. with yeah. a licensed broker. Right. And and basically, that licensed broker, they're trained in or, to base to sit with the individual, go through all the physicians that they see, most, mostly their primary care physician. Right. Look at the prescription drugs that they they take. Right. Call our broker hotline, and actually, clear, make sure that any sort of prescription drug or any physician that that individual may see currently is it's in covered. fact actually covered by our right. plan before they even go any further and discuss the benefits of actually enrolling within the plan. That's right. really the first step. Because some of them, it, it requires the generic form instead of the... Exactly. And the way that insurance companies work is every insurance plan, every health insurance plan has what's called a formulary. A formulary is a list of drugs and that is very regulated in the sense that every insurance plan's formulary has to offer a, spe a specific number of drugs for each condition that, that, they, that would be treated. Okay. So what someone may find is they may find that one drug they take, one prescription drug they take may not actually be covered by that plan, but there may be a comparable drug that is in fact covered by that plan. Right. So that's something that they would work with their broker and as well as their the primary doctor. care physician yep. to figure out, well, does it make sense for me to switch or do I stay where I am? Best way to exactly, do it. Exactly, exactly. There's, they, we will probably have maybe three people working the table, so okay. they shouldn't really have to wait to talk to somebody about the plan. And, and it really, it's just a chance to kind of introduce ourselves to the community right. and let people know that there are other options besides original Medicare parts A and B and going and purchasing. Right. Honestly, we find that a lot of people see, think a lot of people struggle to pay supplemental premiums because they can be pretty high. Right. So the way that our plan works is depending on which one of the two plans you fall into, um, our dual plan, which would be for an individual that has Medicare and Medicaid, depending on their tier of LIS or low income subsidy, that plan premium can be as little as zero. And then our complete plan, <clears throat> which would be for the individual that's just on Medicaid, or sorry, Medicare, would, would pay the original Part B premium, which for 2017 is $109 a month. Okay. And then the plan premium would be $41 a month. All right. So someone may find that that $150 is offering benefits that they're going to utilize, but and, and may not be as expensive as a supplemental plan, which may offer benefits that they are not utilizing. Exactly. Yeah. So... All right. Yep. Well, I'm glad you came over. Absolutely. And Thank you for having me. Let us know about this, and hopefully some of the folks will come out to the summit and pick up a flyer and maybe look it up on the computer and Absolutely. schedule an appointment. Yep. And if there's any questions, we, we're, we're easy to reach, and, and I'll get you all the information so that you have that as well. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, we thank you for coming in, Will. Thank you so much.